I mean, it's like when you're trying anything new, you are like, I love the analogy of walking because we're so patient with babies that don't know how to walk. Have you noticed that? But like, other people learning stuff, we don't have that patience. We're just so like, but like you have to kind of fall around and not get it exactly. And that was definitely what the first few videos were like. I did everything wrong. I sold them wrong. I charged wrong. I didn't charge enough. And they tell you, you gotta charge enough. Here's the problem. If you haven't sold anything, how do you justify charging enough? And by the way, you haven't sold anything. So it's like, I have to get some money in the door. And even if it is gonna cost me five, if it is $500 and it costs me 600, I had $500 for a month and I also had a video project at the end of it. And I had a client that had worked with me at the end of it. Now they can, t they, and they gave a testimonial or referral and I could say we did a good job. Do I wanna build a business off that? No, I can't build a business off that. Obviously it's business 101. It's a loss, not a profit. Um, so the first ones were just brutal because I just needed people to say yes. And in hindsight, it's easy to say, I could have gotten them to say yes, at, you know, a profit, but I didn't know that. I didn't know enough about the negotiating with contractors. I didn't know enough about what it was gonna actually take to produce these. I didn't know, um, you know, so on the business side, that was the biggest challenge, was just trying to figure out what are our prices gonna be. Pricing is the thing that I think is the hardest. I don't even, now I listen to you know podcasts or read books about pricing and it's it's not something that you can learn in a book. It's not something you can learn from a podcast. You have to be confident with what you feel you should make, which is part of what the project is, a profit margin, which most people understand that business there's a profit margin, cost of sales. Now cost of sales is another thing that is, it can scale massively up and massively down. I'm here to serve people like me who are trying to start their own business, who want to have freedom and do it for themselves and give them a great product without overcharging them. On the creative side, working with our customers, I, you know, I remember I had an executive producer and I had producers that we had to either get approval for on our cuts or, or and I thought, um, oh, this is gonna, customers are gonna be so much harder to get feedback from than my executive producer was or the people that I worked with. And it turned out it was the opposite, that they had no clue how to produce a video. So if they didn't like something, they didn't know how to tell me they didn't like it. And so that's when I came up with our storyboarding process and making sure that we have those conversations on the front end of what you like so that we're not producing a video we think's awesome that is just not your vibe at all. When I'm sending out a first cut to someone, one of the things now that we always send out, and I think that you did the same, is our first cut checklist video, um, which basically walks clients through how to watch their first cut and how to identify what it is that they don't like. Just tell me the process of making that video. So that was, so in that, uh, in the earlier days when I was like, everything we do needs a video. Like I don't wanna talk to anyone if it's not through video form. That was one of the videos that got made because it was such, like, a music track completely changes your entire video. Pacing is a big part of it. You know, if the cuts are really fast, that is a specific kind of style versus slow-mo. That combined with the music track is huge. How people are articulating the story is another thing. You know, are they saying what you want them to say? Are they telling the story of your brand the way you want them to tell the story? We can take stuff out, we can add stuff back in. We can take something from the end of an interview and put it at the beginning. And if you don't know that, and you don't know how to construct it because you're doing what you do, you're not a video company, then you're never gonna get the videos that you um, want because you don't know how to tell people what you want. Your audience is who you should care about. Your audience and what they wanna see, that's who matters, not what you think is entertaining and interesting. Next week, we're talking about our biggest challenge in our first year of business. Ooh, the first year. It's pretty intense.